You know where you are. This is Nollywood Pictures TV. I don't know why this guy called Prissy Kenna. You don't think well at all. You don't. Thank you very much, Eke. I've been thinking about it. How can a man with his right senses go out to fight men, men with guns? Thank God we intervened immediately. Hmm. If not me, na wrong. Na for carry wrong. Let me meet the gates. Anytime I see them coming, I will just run and hide for my life. Oh. You want to run away from your office? Who will open the gate? Ah, anybody close, oh. If now you, you open, no. Oh. Mm -hmm. But do you know that I get did the horrible thing? By saying such an evil thing against the press. She will be banished. The problem is not just banishment. The problem is what she has caused in this community. Yes, that's another point. My life is important, so. Your Majesty, I show me no disrespect. But you see, as a custodian of the law, there is no law under the constitution of this great country that permits you as a traditional ruler to detain anybody in your house. If there's anybody of such, he or she should immediately be handed over to the police rather than keeping them under your custody. I'm sorry, Your Majesty. The mistake has been made. Look for correction, no need for work. Don't look for what to be blamed. Just be faithful. Onya dindi, we no ni lanya. Make for bad, ya kuwa kuwa. Neno wa inuga. The mistake has been made. Look for correction, no need for work. Don't look for what to be blamed. Just be faithful. On your dinner, we learn in Lanya. Make it for my dear, Kupa, Nenu, Inuga. I gave my rap, 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 Oh no. Igwe. Were you aware that your son came to this palace yesterday with policemen? I don't have any idea of what you've just said. Oh no. Are you saying you don't have any idea of what he did? Oh yes, I don't have any idea. In any case, I didn't invite you here because of the police issue. I invited you to ask you some questions. Now, did you find time to have a proper discussion with your son with regards to the issue at hand? Oh yes, I did. Good. So, what did he say? Well, he said that the child is easy. I beg your pardon? It's all right. So, what do you have to say about it? Nothing. If I don't have anything to say. Nothing. 
I beg your pardon? Nothing. It's all right. I'm done with you. Igwe. The mistake has been made. Look for correction. No need for work. Don't look for what to be blamed. Just be faithful. Onya dindi walo lilanya. I invited you and your brother's wife, I mean your wife, because you are now her husband, to ask you an important question. Are you aware that Onowu's son came to this palace? to take away your daughter. Yes, Your Majesty. We are aware. I said it. I know. I am not oblivious of the fact that before she could come here and vomit those nonsense from her mouth, she must have discussed it and agreed it with you. I only invited you here just to confirm your Majesty, I can swear with anything to prove my innocence. She didn't discuss it with me. Hmm. Paulina. We are mothers. If you swear, she will die. Manopi <laughs> Franca. You know that. Hmm? Matthias. Igwe. Your brother's daughter. I mean your daughter is daring me. I only restrained myself from making a pronouncement on her head. For obvious reasons. I am quite aware of the severity of the consequences of my pronouncement and I decided to hold back. Now, I need both of you to go home and discuss with her properly before I make any pronouncement. Now leave. Mighty Kenna. Now you be this. Huh? Can you still push me? Can you still run your mouth like a woman? Can you? My friend, listen, let me tell you. Ngwagi femme patego na Germany. Eh? Imana na madu chine kemna kere kitin do madu one million amamengwe. 
Do you know why I'm telling you this? I want you to release my son before the end of today. Else, Umunanko community will never leave to tell the story of what will happen. You often know I'm naturally rich. If not for anything, you already know what my status is like. I did not soil my hands to make money. But I will soil my hands in making your life miserable if you ever dare cross my path. You have got. I can see you really have guts. But the question is this. Can you be able to finish what you started? Listen. Very well then. Let's play the ball. And then we'll see who score girls. I will leave you for now till the meeting going on in palace finishes. Then in Gosigi Yokujin too, okay, man. We'll see about that. Hey, come on, take this nonsense out of my way. Silly bugger. It's a delicate one. And we should handle it as such. So that it will not lead to something that we will regret tomorrow. Igwe, please. My suggestion is let us invite all the people involved in this matter. At least to hear from them. Biko. Jacob, you spoke well. Thank you, Majesty. You see. It's not as if I don't know what to do to resolve this matter once and for all before now. But I needed to hear from you people before I make my decision. The truth of the matter is that I am in no contest with anybody. Like you rightly said, the people involved have not even officially brought the matter before us in the council. Am I not correct? Igwe, no, it's not true. I disagree with what you've just said now. It's not true. No. Mbana. Oh no. How dare you challenge me? How dare you? One more word from you, and I will tell you why I am called Igwe Dika One of Umunako Kingdom. Eh? This meeting is over. A mistake has been made. Look for correction. No need for war. Don't look for what to be blamed. Just be faithful. Okay again. I'm beginning to suspect the king. Of course. If not, why did he dismiss the meeting the way he did? And why didn't he agree with what you said? Oh. He should have invited all the people that are involved. Exactly. Yes. And the same is only away from that. 
thanks to the gods that all of you are beginning to see what I saw. See, Igwe knows the truth, but he's simply shying away from me. The truth is that there's no way he can claim another person's child. Yeah. <laughs> no? yeah. Let me tell you, my son told me in private that he knows what to do to bring back his child. But I'm the one holding him. Then I know. Leave him. Stop holding him. Let him do it the way he wants it. Exactly. I think he still hold him. Well, as it sounds now, I don't think I can go. I can be able to hold him again. Just nobody will allow the child to do. What did I not tell you? What did I not tell you? I want you that what you're about to say, my cousin was like. But you went ahead and told me now. Just imagine. Now tell me, how do we get out of this mess? Don't dare. Chakubetu, don't they work out on me again? Because if you try it, you need me to contend with. So what is wrong with you? Okay, let me ask you one question. If you were in my shoes, would you have kept quiet? Yes. If I had not told you that your father gave birth to you, would you have known? Chakubetu, at a point in life, a woman ought to be a woman. Every woman on this earth has a secret. What is wrong with you? Well, I am not every woman. I would not keep quiet and allow another man, father another man's child. It's not done. Then why did you lie to the prince that he was the child? That was because I found out I was pregnant in the, in the middle of our courtship. That was it. What made you believe Roland was the one that got you pregnant? Because I never had anything to do with the prince intimately when I found out I was pregnant. Chikube Chikube, you disappointed. No, mama, no, don't even go there. You disappointed yourself. Because I told you from the onset that I do not want to have anything whatsoever to do with the prince. The prince is despicable, he's arrogant, he's nothing to write home about. I told you this, but alas, you wouldn't listen to me. You wanted the best of life, you wanted everything good, you went for him, you pushed me, you pushed me into this, mama. And now you're telling me that I have disappointed you. No, mama, you disappointed yourself. Mama, let me alone, please. Sanction me if I talk further. If I start, no one should blame me. If I start, no one should stop me. The king is getting me angry. My son, forget about the king. Look for your child. You have my full support. Um, um but Papa. I was thinking there's a way you and the king could resolve this. That was the purpose of my going there. But when I got there, I tried to explain everything to him. He refused to listen to me. He threatened to, to pass judgment on us if I talk further. Can you imagine that? That means he doesn't want this to be resolved amicably. That was the purpose I went there for. See, go and get your son. You have my full support. Mm. Mm. Am I not talking to you? Am I not talking to you? Huh? I've told you. Under no account must you allow my son out of this house. Now should anything, anything, but any misfortune will happen to my son, I won't be held responsible for what will happen to you or anybody close to you. Because that's my prescription. Protect that boy at all costs. What did I say? Protect my son at all costs! Is this what you are supposed to do? Have you just return him back to your house? I'm asking you. Please talk to me that bullshit. What is wrong with you? Do I look like your maid? 
if you need anyone to run after that boy like you said, I suggest you get a mate because I am not one. Not sense and people. Everything that I need, I get everything that I want. Chokube, I warned you specifically never to let this out to anyone, and you promised you were never going to do that. Now, look what it costs. I tried so hard, but my conscience wouldn't just let me. Oh, I see. Your conscience, you said. You can see where your so called conscience has landed us. Listen. Okay, I'm sorry, but I'm not regretting it. I'm not. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. You are not regretting it. Chakube, you said you are not regretting it. You're not regretting it when you don't even know where you are standing right now. Your supposed right price is being put on hold and you are here telling me that you're not regretting it, Chakube. I'm glad I told the truth. And even if it means that I should remain like this, then it's fine. Oh, I see you, Mrs. Fruit Stella. You can see. You can see what you've got. Because currently, the whole community is burning. And I hope it makes you happy. I don't care. I don't. I have told the truth. And I'm ready to tell more. Yes. Chokube, you get that go. I can see you don't want to help yourself. I can't keep advising someone that doesn't take advice. You know, yeah? As it is right now, I am going to let you carry your cross all by yourself. You know, yeah? And I'm leaving. Never to come back again. Choma, Choma, you are not going anywhere. You're not going anywhere because you caused them. Okay, what's your point now? What is your point? I'm asking you that I should go and tell the king that Roland is not the father of my child, what he is. What are you even saying? You seem to have forgotten so soon that you and mother caused all this. Everything that is happening to me right now, you caused it. And now you're telling me you don't want to advise me anymore. I should go ahead and do whatever I so please. Then it's fine. Go! If that makes you happy, you can. You can go if you don't think. That makes you happy. Look for correction. No need for work. Don't look for what to be blamed. Just be faithful. On your dindy, when only lanya. Maki for my Look for the door, it's me, oh no. Hello. Oh no, wait. You have been restricted not to enter into this palace again. Restricted? By who? Igwe, the king of this community. Young man, do you know who you are talking to? The prime minister of this kingdom. Let him enter the palace. It's here come. Biko, I'm working on that instruction. I told him he's no longer allowed into the palace. But he has been forcing himself in since. Now, now what don't you understand? That you are no longer the only one of this community. Palace. It's not that possible. I am still the only one. Do you know what I mean? What it Prince. Hey! Prince of Gualu, the Prime Minister of this kingdom, of Gualu Kimel. Who? Of Gualu. Now listen to me. I don't ever want to see this man or know who or whatever he's called anywhere close to this palace. Otherwise, you know what the penalty is. Yes, my prince. Fools. Open the gate. Open it.
Matthias, go and get set. There will be war in this kingdom. Imagine me. The prince of whom Ananko slapped me, not just once, but twice. Chineke. There will be war. May the gods forbid bad thing. I will make sure that King Edika's government is ungovernable. Hi. I will put sand into his gary. Imagine, this what is, kind of nonsense is this? This is terrible. His son slapped me. Imagine me. Oh no, who's Jido from Bono? Ha! Ha! This is Moria. terrible. I will make sure that his kingdom, this kingdom, his government will become ungovernable. Then he will know who I am. But it was I just go and get set. There will be war. I will make sure that he pays for it. Jacuba! Has been dethroned. Hey! He was slapped twice by the prince and was thrown out of the palace. Hey. Chekube, you must leave this village now. Why? Stop asking questions. Just go in there and pack your things. Ma. Uncle, I'm going nowhere. I'm not going anywhere. Did you hear her? Did you hear this girl? Have you all seen? Huh? Enough of this. I want you to go in there and get my son for me. Or I will have no option than to go in there and take him by myself, by force. Uh, uh, Roland, please, Jidolfo, Biko, please calm down. You think I'm joking, right? Biko, we can settle this amicably. Biko, wait, Biko. 